So I realised I never showed you guys my Studio Ghibli collection. It's pretty small. I've got the Hayao Miyazaki um, Nausicaa Valley of the Wind manga collection. So it's two volumes of pure watercolour pencil action. There's some like sketches inside and stuff as well. I realised I just filmed that like that. What's wrong with me? And then I have my art books which aren't very many. I would like to have more but I don't really look at them as often as I should. These three have to be my favourite Studio Ghibli films. These three. So onto the movie collection. Ignore these two. They're not Studio Ghibli but they're kind of animation related. I used to be an animation student. Um, yeah, so I have most of the films. Number six, number four is missing. But I also don't have like the recent ones. That is not in order. That is bothering me. In 2009 I went to Japan and we actually visited the Studio Ghibli Museum which I highly recommend if anyone goes to Tokyo. And they have like a little shop which sells lots of really great merchandise. So I got these flip books from Ponyo. Can't really do it one hand but I'll try. And this was great because I was an animation student, I was nerding out. I was like, look at each of these frames. Um, this one is this scene. Look at that! It's amazing, she transforms. Obviously, this is not the speed of the movie. <laughs> 1,000 brains per second! And I've got Hayao Zeki. I used to do like lots of essays on him because when I was in first year, honestly, I never had heard of Hayao Zeki before my foundation year. And my friend introduced me to them and was like, you need to watch these if you want to be an animator. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'll watch them. Like I loved, um, I loved freaking anime. Like I watched all sorts of different animes, like Chobits, Naruto, I was like, on a hundred and million episode of that. And then I was like, yeah, sure, I watch these. And I just fell in love. I was just thinking like, this is the, the most amazing films I've ever seen, but I had never been exposed to them. So it was a really cool time for me. And I was just like writing about him, like, uh, you know, like a new student word he's found, a new inspiration. And then I've got his biography thing from 1979 to 1996. Ignore the sock puppet that's back there and old N64 stuff, but this guy I made a few years ago, he's made with felt and um, an online tutorial, I'm not talented enough to make up my own stuff, and not talented enough to hide stitching apparently, never mind, I still like him, he's, you know, he's quirky, he's, yeah, he's that guy, ooh, this is the worst shot ever, but okay, we'll deal with it. Uh, I got this little thing, which is from the Studio Ghibli. Uh, museum and it was like the cat's collection and I really really like the box. I really like um, I was like gonna call it when the cat returns. That's not the title stuff. You're not a Ghibli fan I'm a big fan of the cat returns and I'm also a big fan of the one where she writes the story about him I'm sorry. I just woke up. So my brain is working whisper of the heart So the Baron was a must but then inside he doesn't look as cool as the box looks and all my friends were like, why did you buy that? And I'm like, uh, I love it, I don't care. <laughs> he looks janky, but I still like him, my own little baron. Please come to life and take me to a cat world, that would be my dream. Good day. Okay, sorry for dodgy angle and uh, desk mess, but this, this is the kind of, you know, professionalism that you come to expect from me. So let's open these cards up. I haven't opened these up in like, I don't know, years, so, because I want to keep them pristine. They come in this like nice box. Sorry, that was like ASMR. <laughs> and they've got a little ponyo on the back, which looks like a little bit digital, which I'm not pleased with. <laughs> How open. There we go. Okay, they're really cute. I think they're just scenes from the movie. They're not that like stunning, but this one you can see the sort of texture style. Ace. There we go. Enjoy, guys. I don't know how many I'll flick through because obviously, if you've seen ponyo, you've seen these scenes. So, but yeah, they're just like nice little cards. I don't use them because I never wanted to get them bent. They were like too precious. Even though, you know what? They're not actually like that well designed. They're just kind of the scene stuck onto a card and with red and black numbers. So I don't know why I thought they were like so special, but I think just because they're something I got from the Ghibli Museum that I'm like, I love them. They will be taken to the grave with me like the Egyptians did. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's my Studio Ghibli shelf and 
I hope to add to it one day, maybe, I can go back to Japan and look for more stuffs. I'm a bit of a, I mean, I know that sounds bad, like, oh, I need to buy more things from Studio Ghibli, but honestly, it just, these things mean a lot to me, and they're very precious, so it's not like I'm just hoarding random junk. I like these things, and they mean, you know, I'm repeating myself, stupid. Hi guys, so I didn't talk to the camera all week, but that's because I couldn't be bothered. It's really nice, isn't it? Last night we went to see The Shape of Water and I thought it was good, but I didn't really connect with the film as much as I thought I would because everyone's raving about it. I was like, yeah, I can't wait to see it and I bet I'm gonna like freaking love it and wanna see it again and stuff, but I don't know. It was beautifully shot. Obviously, the characters were really, really solid and I liked their interactions with each, with each other. I liked stuff that happened in the movie, but there was a particular scene that I thought was really, it really just detracted from the story and I'm not gonna spoil it, don't worry, but if you've seen it, you probably know what I'm talking about because I felt like it just kind of went in a different direction. Even though it's a small thing that happens, I just felt like it was unnecessary and it really, deterred the story and the intentions of some of the characters. Maybe nobody else thought that much of it, but yeah. So today I'm just gonna work on my book cover, my second book cover, and watch Love. If anybody's seen that on Netflix, I really like that show. Whenever it comes out every year, I just spam through it and then realize like I blinked and watched all the episodes in like a day. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna edit, and we're gonna chill for today. It's been a long week. All right, anyway, thanks for watching this random collection of stuff, and see you next time. Bye.